In this demonstration, we'll look at retrieving information utilizing our select statement within a PowerShell commandlet. The ability to pipe information over to our select and retrieve the property information from that object directly within PowerShell. So let's go ahead and begin. So what I want to do is I'm going to open up my SharePoint management shell. And I'm going to pass in a very simple commandlet to get my SP web application. And I'll specify the URL. And I'll actually spell it correctly, HTTP, and we'll use a colon. All right, what this is, uh, returns to me is just the display name and the URL. You know what? I'm... I'm fairly certain there's a great deal more information available about this web application. Now, the get returns simply the basic information. If I take my pipe and say, take my web application at the specified URL and send that to select all. What you'll notice first off is it takes more time to execute this commandlet. And the reason is, it's going to return more information than just the display name or the URL. It's going to return a number of different properties available that are uh, displayed within that specific web application. We can see, obviously, it's no longer just the display name and the URL. All right. So you might say, well, you know what? That's great, except that's too much information. All I need to be able to see is the URL, and I need to be able to see if this web application needs to be upgraded. Well, you know what? I can easily say select URL, and the property needs upgrade. And it shows me. Well, there's my URL. That's the URL of the web application, and it doesn't need to be upgraded. All right, so... Now let's consider that you're saying, well, you know what? I'm working with variables, however. You know, I, I'm not working directly within my get statement. I still want to use the select. But you know what? It, it's The select statement works either piping the direct get or piping the variable. I can demonstrate this by creating a variable called site, setting that variable equal to my get sp site, and specifying the identity of that site and pass in the URL. And now I can say take that variable site and again pipe it to my select all. Now I could cut out the variable altogether. One more time. Cut out the variable altogether and just pass in my get and immediately put a pipe. Select all. Same results, right? But if you are working with variables, and there are a number of reasons why you would want to, for example, for assignments or, or to be able to set properties from the variable. All right, so now you look at it and you say, you know what, that's great, except what if I want to display specific, and I'm going to go back to my site. I don't want to see all of the different properties. I only want to see specifically the URL or actually, I want to see specifically uh, display name and status. But I also want to display this in an order. I want to order it. Now, if you're used to working with query, uh, T-SQL, or you've ever worked with T-SQL querying, that would be a simple order by. However, within PowerShell, what I can do is I can take that select and pipe that to a sort and specify sort by display name. And I'm 
it's not showing anything, and I'm betting that's because the property doesn't have a display name. So let's just say URL. And we'll say select URL. All right, and there we go. So in this demonstration, we looked at the ability to query properties using a select, piping our variables or objects, our get statements, over to a select statement, and then even the ability to pipe those results over to a sort operator using PowerShell.